Real Fishing and welcome to Swimbait Fishing the Northeast. It's, um, it's not something that I see a lot of videos on and I've decided in all of 2015 to dedicate this entire year to the pursuit of, of larger fish. Uh, I'm new to swimbait fishing. I'm very much a novice. I started doing it kind of two years ago, got heavier last year and this year I feel like I have enough knowledge to really pursue it, hopefully effectively. And um, I'm an East Coast fisherman. Uh, I'm going to be fishing primarily New Jersey. And what this is going to be is a three-part video series. I'm going to break up the year into the three seasons because, of course, winter here we're usually iced over. And I'm going to measure my success in each of those seasons. Uh, from everything I've always read and anyone I ever spoke to, you can have, you know, it's, it's feast or famine. You can have a lot of downtime and a lot of lulls in swimbait fishing. So what I'd like to do is report to you at the end of each season uh, how I've done, hopefully the fish that I've caught, and what I've learned during that time period. Talk to you about the lures that I've been using, um, the, the hardware, the reels, the line, the, the whole nine yards. And this is coming to you as someone who I think has done enough homework that I'm going to be able to talk to you intelligently and give you some solid recommendations, but also someone who's new and is going through that first phase, and that's going to be fresh in my head as well. So for all of you out there that are getting into this technique, because uh, swim bay fishing really is the the latest horizon. It's the, uh, the thing that everybody's talking about and manufacturers are putting out a lot of gear. Hopefully I, you know, as someone who's still relatively new to it, I can have those things in my mind, uh, those questions, and, and address those for you. So um, actually, I already, I only had two trips out, and um, actually right here, I was just here a few days ago, and I didn't expect it to be this easy, but um, about eight to ten casts in on an eight inch Huddleston. I caught my new personal best. Uh, this is the beginning of the season. That was April 17th. So I meant to do this intro before. So you're getting the intro, but I've already had success early in the year and that inspired a lot of confidence for throwing the bigger baits. So that's what you're going to be seeing following this. But this is really just the intro video and stay tuned uh, because throughout the rest of the year I'm going to be putting out those three other videos at the end of each season. All right, everybody. So thanks for watching. Alright guys, quick lesson here, look at the bends in that rod. One of the first things that I want to let you know guys, don't underestimate the power of these fish. This is a 6 pound, 6 ounce bass, which is a great catch, but you know that they get a lot bigger. That's a medium heavy, medium fast swim bait rod, rated up to 5 ounces. And look at the flex in that rod. So, just want to let you guys know, if you think they're stiff, if you think they might be too heavy, don't underestimate these fish. Go with the heavy action rods. Oh boys. Aiden Shuttleston, weedless. First time fishing it. It's 
Good way to start the year right there. <clears throat> so yeah, this is um <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to start my video. This is gonna be my uh 2015 is dedicated big swim bait fishing year. And I'd say that's only my God, maybe my tenth cast with the Huddleston. If you look inside here, that's the eight inch. I've been fishing the 68 specials and I just, it's hard as an East Coast fisherman to get, you know, until you catch that nice fish, it's hard to not think that eight inch is big, but I tell you now, looking at it in there, it's nothing for this guy. Nice, let's get a weight on this guy. Pictures. There we go. That's it. Six six. Six five. Six six. Woo! It didn't take long, man. That was awesome. Hope it's gonna be a good year, guys. East Coast swim bait fishing. I know there's a lot of you who have walked this path and been doing it for a while. And uh, man, it's just, what, what a feeling to just have a handful of casts on that eight inch HUD and, and boom, you know, maybe 10 casts today. That was incredible, incredible. 6-6 six, six to start the year, beating the new personal best. We're going to see. It wasn't hard to start it off, uh, but the plan is to dedicate just about every opportunity to it. And, uh, God, now I need to, uh, I guess now I need to up it to a, to a seven pound fish. That's the next numeric goal. I'm stoked. I'm ready. All right, guys, let's keep, let's get another one. Alright guys, so that fish there, um, there's no denying it's cool when you get them on a, the lure you want to, particularly when it's a big lure, and um, this rod I've been using now, I got this last year, this is a Akuma, it's the Swimbait series, but it's actually their lightest one, nobody would really recommend fishing the 8 inch on this guy, um, and, and actually I do want to get something a little bit stiffer. Um, I was a little worried if I'd be able to set the hook, but apparently you could set the hook just fine. This is a 7.6. It's a, a medium heavy power, and it's a medium fast taper. So it's almost like a big exaggerated crankbait rod, but it is rated from uh, half ounce to five ounces. So um, yeah, I really feel it, you know, casting it. I'm really testing the, the rod, but it's the heaviest rod that I have right now. So, you know, it, it'll get the job done, but it's not ideal. And then apart from that is um, is the new, or my new, uh, reel, which I'm really excited about. Beautiful reel, and that's a Daiwa Ryoga. Really sweet. Not sure of the order of operations, but I'm shooting a, uh, a review on this. It's the uh, first and probably the only reel uh, I'm going to bring over from Japan, but I just really, really love this reel. Everything I ever read about it and the Pluton over the years was just so positive. I love the look of it. Uh, just everything about it. It's just a real, really sweet reel. And so, yeah, like I'm saying, to have it all come together, I think some of you guys know how that is. I mean, of course, you just want to get the fish. You want to have a good day fishing. But it doesn't get much better than this, man. Having a, you know, really sweet new reel and throwing the big baits first of the year. That's a good feeling. It really, uh, that made my day. cool part about that guys was you know it's like a real specific here I was trying to give him the big profile of of the eight inch bait um, the water here no one would consider is in the good condition for swim bait fishing water clarity is two and a half feet maybe maybe not but not only think say three feet about two and a half feet before you lose sight of whatever it is you're fishing um, so that's not conducive to, to the Huddleston, you know, which is very subtle. No rattles, of course, or anything like that. 
but I elected to go with the 8 inch over the 68s, which I, I fish more often and I'm more comfortable with, um, because because of that water clarity, I wanted the biggest physical profile that I could present to make up for the murky water. And along the shoreline here, there's lots of submerged small trees and brush, and anything that you bring by that you parallel, you're just bringing it over. You feel it knocking and ticking and just hitting branches and twigs. And so there's no way I could do the exposed hook. Um, and that's pretty much what it was. Uh, trying to get the big bite, so let me put on the, the big lure. Um, the biggest I could get to make up for the stained water. And, you know, it's. I hope Ken comes out with more of these because the weedless 8 inch is, is that was really the ticket just now. Uh, this is a rate of fall 12, which again is something that uh, in this situation I wanted. I wanted it to get down because this slopes pretty quickly. So, is this the, the perfect bait for that situation?